Welcome to Great Loop Lifestyle, where we show you things that there are to see and do along the Great Loop about a mile from a marina. I'm Kim Russo with America's Great Loop Cruisers Association, and today we are in Fairhope, Alabama. We're making an exception for Fairhope and showing you things that are not an easy walk from the marinas because Fairhope has been named by our members as one of the top small cities on the Great Loop. So from that wider view, you can see that it's a pretty good distance from the places to tie up to the downtown area. It's actually about three to three and a half miles. So a longish kind of walk, you may want to rely on an Uber or Lyft or a friend, um, which is what we did. But the visitor center is a great place to start because they have lots of information, of course, about the area. And then the next place we hit was Julwyn's Restaurant. It was recommended by locals as a great place for breakfast, which is what we were in the mood for. So we stopped at Julwyn's and had an absolutely phenomenal breakfast. Right outside Julwyn's is this beautiful square with lots of flowers, and you'll find that all over Fairhope. Another kind of unusual place was the pharmacy, because it looks like a pharmacy on the outside, and it is a pharmacy, in fact, in the back there. But the majority of the store was more like a lovely gift shop with everything you could imagine, including clothing. Another standout was Wismar Jewelry. Definitely wander in there. Beautiful pieces, most of it handmade right there in the store. And the shopkeepers were just delightful and really welcoming and showed us all the wonderful things that they had made. And another standout was Page and Palette. This is a hometown small business bookstore, but it also has a cafe that had really wonderful coffee. And there's a little place where you can get wine as right as part of that store as well. So that was a fun visit. But overall, the main thing to do here in Fairhope is really to just stroll the beautiful streets as I said, there's lots of flowers, and these are small butterfly gardens. They attracted lots of butterflies while we were there, and we got to enjoy that. But just wander in and out of the shops. There is a heavy arts influence and lots of eclectic shops, lots of really neat restaurants. We just weren't, unfortunately, there long enough to sample very many of them. If you do a little research on Fairhope, you're likely to find the phrase art and intellects have kind of found their way to the town. So there's lots of art artists and writers who now make it home. It's really considered one of the suburbs at Mobile. And the town is just filled with these little vignettes in these alleyways. There is a French Quarter that has a lot of elaborate wrought iron, uh, very reminiscent of what you might find in New Orleans. And it really is just a stone's throw from Mobile. We also found this area with a very heavy Spanish influence on the architecture and some beautiful courtyards there as well. So we encourage you to just spend some time roaming the streets, popping in and out of the local shops. It really is just a fun place to visit and a lovely stop on the Great Loop. So that is Fairhope, Alabama. Thanks for watching.